Hello, I'm Dan Ludis with C-Motive Technologies, co-inventor of the capacitive power coupler, a new solution to powering rotating equipment. Many industries like industrial automation, electrical generation, materials processing, and robotics all have electrical loads on a rotating shaft. One popular example is the rotor field winding of a synchronous generator. The earliest solution to powering electrical components that rotate use carbon brushes in contact with rings on the shaft. Unfortunately, the sliding connection causes both the brushes and the rings to wear over time, requiring periodic maintenance to clean brush dust and replace worn parts. These maintenance costs for slip ring assemblies have led to the use of non-contact solutions in many applications, namely the brushless exciter. Brushless exciters provide power to the rotor windings of the generator without brushes and their maintenance requirements. However, Brushless exciters are bulkier than slip rings, less electrically efficient, and considerably more expensive. C-Motive's solution to this problem is the capacitive power coupler. Capacitive power coupling uses electric fields to power rotating devices and provides the electrical performance of slip rings but without the physical contact. And it does this in a smaller package than brushless exciters. In 2010, I devised the capacitive power coupler as an elegant solution to powering rotating devices. The capacitive power coupler uses sets of stationary and rotating parallel plates separated by air to form capacitors. Between each set of stationary stator plates is a rotating rotor plate. C-Motive's technological breakthrough is our ability to bring these plates much closer together than previously possible. To properly explain the significance of this development, I'll take a moment to introduce you to the basic principles of how capacitive power coupling works. This illustration highlights the basic structure and operating principle behind capacitive power coupler technology. Capacitive power couplers consist of rotor plates attached to a hub on a shaft, stator plates mounted in parallel to rotor plates with a small air gap between them, and drive electronics. First, electrical input power is supplied to the drive electronics. The drive electronics convert the input power to alternating current which connects to the capacitive power coupler stator plates. The alternating current creates an alternating electric field between the stator and rotor plates that transfers power across the air gap to the rotor plates. An AC load rotating on the shaft draws power from wires attached to the rotor plates. A DC load may also be powered if a rotating rectifier is added. By using electrical capacitance, this non-contact system utilizes minimal shaft length and the plates may be made from cost-effective aluminum rather than electrical steel laminations and copper coils. We've been asked many times, why hasn't this been done before? The answer lies in the rotating capacitor itself. The air gap between the rotor and stator plates must be as small as possible to push appreciable power. Previously, rotating capacitors could not be built with a sufficiently small air gap. Rotating capacitors of the past use rigidly fixed plates, which cannot maintain the necessary gap tolerances or handle mechanical disturbances when operating. C-Motive's rotating capacitor plates are supported with flexures. These flexures provide a flexible link between the mounting points and the capacitive surfaces of the rotor and stator plates. This allows the plates to conform to each other and maintain contactless operation even during disturbances. Plate separation is maintained by air-bearing action between the plate surfaces. Release on the surface of the plates channels air between the rotor and stator surfaces as the shaft spins. The air forces plates apart, preventing contact, while the flexures allow for even and maintained spacing. To illustrate C-Motive's capacitive flexure and air-bearing technology, we've prepared the following demonstrations. To examine the operation of fluid bearings and flexures within a rotating capacitor, the pictured test stand consists of a single rotor plate attached to a hub and is sandwiched between two stator plates. The hub is mounted on a shaft which may be spun by an electric motor. The plates are bare aluminum with no coatings of any kind and are connected according to the diagram. The system is a resistor capacitor circuit driven by a square wave AC voltage source. Within the circuit, the voltage across the plates is measured as it will allow us to observe the contact between the rotor and stator plates. The pink trace on the oscilloscope will stay on the axis when there is contact between the rotor and stator and will exhibit a capacitor charging curve similar to an RC time constant when the plates are separated by air, acting as a capacitor. 
Note how the system can operate without contact, even when the capacitive power coupler is disturbed, and how the plates return to the preferred alignment after the disturbance is removed. This characteristic is key to continuing operation through shaft movements and tolerating imperfect installation alignments. With the two plate sets fully built up, this desktop prototype is capable of conducting up to 8 amps of current at voltages up to 1 kilovolt. The best part about it is that it scales easily and can be adapted to much larger scales using the same design principles. It can be installed as a single piece onto an existing application with only electrical connections and set screws for the shaft. The capacitive power coupler is a distinctive and elegant solution to powering rotating equipment. It's non-contact, very low maintenance, and occupies significantly less volume than competing solutions. Best of all, it's cost effective and easily adapted to higher power levels. We at C-Motive have worked hard to bring the capacitive power coupler from concept to prototype, and I'm proud to demonstrate it for you. If you're interested in what we're doing and you'd like to serve as a beta tester, we'd love to hear from you.